Hi friends, welcome to Bioglow. If you like this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Today we are going to discuss the second part of the topic Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Myself, Muhammad Yasile, Assistant Professor of Microbiology, Marcus Arts and Science College, Adavanad. Pathogenesis. Pathogenesis is the ability of causing different types of diseases. It is very very important in the case of any organism in the field of bacteriology. First one types of tuberculosis. What are the different types of tuberculosis affected by different people? First one pulmonary tuberculosis, renal tuberculosis, tubercular meningitis, bone and joint tuberculosis, miliary tuberculosis, intestinal tuberculosis and skin tuberculosis. Miliary tuberculosis means disseminated form of tuberculosis. It's a very fatal form of tuberculosis and the large number of bacteria travel through bloodstream and forming miliary tuberculosis. And pulmonary means something tuberculosis affected with the lungs, renal means affected with the kidney and bone and joint, intestinal and skin tuberculosis. Then disease development, how mycobacterium tuberculosis causing diseases first one inhalation of mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria then second one bacteria reaches to the lungs and the bacteria is ingested by alveolar and macrophages cells then multiplication in macrophages and creating gone focus in lower lobe and they then involving higher lymph node involvement and forming primary complex then hearing and calcification forming cause latent infection. Latent means something hidden. Then reactivation or exogenous infection and forming secondary tuberculosis. Secondary tuberculosis usually a pulmonary tuberculosis. And after forming primary complex, hematogenous spread. Hematogenous means something spread with blood. Then forming miliary meningeal and disseminated tuberculosis. Then what are the clinical features of mycobacterium tuberculosis causing disease tuberculosis? First one fever. You can see that evening rise of temperature. Then evening rise of temperature means temperature to be increased day by day. Then cough with expectoration. Expectoration means sputum. The cough with the sputum. Then hemotysis. Hemotysis means coughing up of blood, then weight loss, loss of appetite, then signs of pleural effusion and consolidation or cavity. Then laboratory diagnosis. What are the different types of methods adopted for laboratory diagnosis of mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria? What are the specimen to be collected or specimen to be selected for laboratory diagnosis? First one sputum, second one laryngeal swab bronchial washings and gastric lavage. In the case of meningitis, we select cerebrospinal fluid. About 3 to 4 ml are collected. In the case of renal tuberculosis, we can collect urine about 40 ml. Then other samples are collected depending on the site involved. In which site TB is affected, at, uh, that is very very important for the samples collection. Then collection, sputum. Early morning sample is collected and sampling is done on three successive days. It increases the chance of isolation. If the sputum is candy, laryngeal swab or bronchial washings are collected. Then gastric lavage is usually collected in children who swallow sputum. Sometimes small babies or children may swallow the sputum. So sputum collection is very difficult. So we can collect gastric lavage such people. Samples are collected using usual standard procedures. Then transportation. If delay of more than 2 hours is expected, sample should be refrigerated. Refrigeration slows down multiplication of common cell organism. Common cells means normal flora or they forming relation with one organism. They derive food or uh, food from other organism. Uh, they benefit from one another. They cause any harm to another organism that is known as common cell. Then if more delay is expected, equal amount of 
Cetyl pyridium chloride NaCl solution is added to the sputum. That is one of the preservation method. It liquefies the sputum and prevents the growth of other bacteria and so maintain viability up to 8 days. Then pleural fluid should be collected in citrate bulb. Then microscopic methods. What are the different microscopic methods are used for identifying mycobacterium tuberculosis? Blood tinged or purulent part of sputum is used for preparation of smears. Liquid specimens such as cerebrospinal fluid, pleural fluid and urine should be centrifuged and sediment is used for preparation of smears. Sensitivity of microscopy is 10,000 bacilli per ml of sputum. Then methods of demonstration. What are the demonstration methods used to apply detecting mycobacterium tuberculosis? First one, zeal Nielsen staining. Uh, Why doing zeal Nielsen staining? It shows acid first vacillate against blue or green or yellow background. Minimum 300 oil emission fields of ZN stain smears are examined and reported with grading as. 0 AFB in 300 oil emission, oil, oil emission field indicate that uh, there is no uh, AFB is present. Then 1 to AFB in 300 oil emission objective results that doubtful test uh, then we can repeat the smear. Then 1 to 9 AFB in 100 oil emission field indicates that result is 1 plus. Then 1 to 9 AFB in 10 oil emission field indicates that 2 plus. Then 1 to 9 AFB in 1 oil elimination field that is known as 3 plus. Then 10 or more AFB in 1 oil elimination field that is 4 plus. It is very very dangerous phenomenon. Then concentration of specimen. When AFB are not detected by direct microscopy, then specimens are concentrated by different techniques. They can be classified as follows. Methods that kill bacteria and methods that do not kill bacteria. Then methods that kill bacteria, first one treatment with hypochlorite solution, treatment with antiforming, treatment with targitol, then autoclave method, they kill bacilli, so it cannot be used for all culture techniques. The methods that do not kill bacteria, first one Petrov's method, second one modified Petrov's method. These methods use alkali homogenization instead of alkali treatment with dilute acids such as 3% hydrochloric acid, 5% oxalic acid, cetrimide, zephyran can be used for concentration methods. Petrov's methods. Equal volume of sputum and 4% NaOH are mixed. Then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes with intermittent shaking. Then centrifuge at 3000 RPM for 30 minutes and sediment is used for microscopy and different cultures. Culture technique used to identify mycobacterium species. What are the different types of culture techniques are used for identifying mycobacterium species? Culture is a more sensitive technique than microscopical methods. It can detect 10 to 100 bacilli per ml of sputum. Concentrated sputum is inoculated on two Lovenstein Jensen slams and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius. Cultures examined weekly up to 12 weeks before declaring negative. The slant is observed for dry, rough, raised, wrinkled, irregular colonies of mycobacterium tuberculosis which are further identified by biochemical reactions. This is this type of colonies are already discussed in first part of colony morphology. Culture can be done by Vactec method which gives result earlier and rapid. This is already discussed about the first part of the, our topic, Vactec system. Then identification. How to identify mycobacterium tuberculosis? To identify isolates following observations are helpful. Slow growth at 36 degrees Celsius taking 2 to 6 weeks. Then no pigment production. No growth on paranitrobenzoic acid, Lovenstein Jensen media. Then weekly catalase positive, niacin positive, nitrate reduction positive, susceptibility to pyrazinamide and resistant to TCH. Nucleic acid detection methods. How do we detect nucleic acid present in 
mycobacterium tuberculosis polymerase chain reaction ligase chain reaction standard displacement amplification that is known as sda nucleic acid sequence based amplification nasba and dna props techniques these are the techniques followed for the identification of nucleic acid then antibody detection methods by using elisa or enzyme linked immunosorbent assay urea or radio immune assay then lattice agglutination test the next method tuberculo tuberculin test it is one of the very very important test used in the detection of mycobacterium tuberculosis tuberculin test is uh, also known as mandox test is one of the important question in the case of medical microbiology is a tumor question then what are the principle of tuberculin test is a type for hypersensitivity reaction then procedure a purified protein derivative is inoculated intradermally on four arm of a patient then site is observed after 72 hours for the appearance of area of erythema and induration appearance of erythema and induration that is the result the interpretation he can detect or shows that erythema and induration and about 10 mm indicates positive test below 5 mm indicates negative test between 5 and 9 mm indicates doubtful test sometimes may get false positive result in the case of atypical mycobacterial infection false negative may uh, comes under early tuberculosis nilary tuberculosis condition advanced tuberculosis condition then immunosuppressive individuals with severe malnutrition and measles in these conditions we may get false negative results uses what are the uses of tuberculin test to diagnose active infection in infants to select population for bcg vaccination it is used as an indication of successful bcg vaccination to measure prevalence of infection in community this is the picture of tuberculin test how will we inject the protein derivative on the skin and the forming of um, uh, vesicles or what what are called erythema and induration this is the measure of erythema and induration this is the picture of induration and erythema on the skin then treatment what are the treatment adopted for controlling mycobacterium tuberculosis bactericidal drugs like rifampicin isoniazid piracinamide and streptomycin the bacteriostatic drugs like adambutol cyclosporin capriomycin canamycin and ciprofloxacin then the revised national tuberculosis control program it's very very important in the case of treatment revised national tuberculosis control program or rntcp it's a treatment strategy implemented in india in 1992 the aim was to provide standardized treatment and proper diagnosis facilities to tb patients then this was based on directly observed treatment short course strategy of world health organization that is known as dots it's very very important is a two mark question what is known as dots the treatment is started following diagnosis made primarily by morning and sports sputum microscopy this is made available free of cost to patient at designated microscopic centers so dots treatment is full of free of cost then treatment is provided under direct observation by a dot provider at the dot center near the patient's home this strategy can prevent emergence of drug resistance by ensuring the patient's compliance india's dots is the fastest expanding program in the world the treatment purposes and regimens are given based on sputum smear positivity and seriousness of the disease as category 1 2 and 3 of the treatment then drug resistance is one of the important phenomena occur in the case of tb patients drug resistant tuberculosis has become a problem in high tb burden countries including india this is due to mutations or with an approximate rate of 1 in 10 raised to 8 cell divisions this may have been effectively prevented by the strategy of combination of drug therapy drug resistance can be prevented by the strategy of combination of drug therapy 
which had been introduced for this purpose unfortunately this was improperly implemented multiple factors have led to the emergence of multi drug resistant tuberculosis first one lapses in prescribing practices then second one drug delivery and patient compliance have led to the build up of resistance in the bacilli over the years reducing the efficacy of the treatment then drug resistance can be classified into two types primary and secondary what is known as primary the primary means pre treatment or initial drug resistance when patient is infected with a strain of tubercle bacilli which is already resistant such conditions are known as primary drug resistance then second one acquired or secondary or post treatment when the infecting strain is initially sensitive becomes resistant usually as a result of improper or inadequate treatment improper or inadequate treatment such condition is known as acquired resistance this is more common type of resistance in the case of tb patients when acquired resistant strains become increasingly common in an area the chance of new patients presenting with primary resistance increases multi drug resistant tuberculosis it's very very important it is a threat or challenge uh, due uh, occur in the case of tuberculosis patients a very serious consequence of unchecked drug resistance has been the emergence and spread of multi drug resistant tb multi drug resistant means only resistance to two or more drugs in tuberculosis specifically refers to the resistance to rifampicin and isoni acid with or without resistance to one or more other drugs then what is the prophylactic measures adopted for controlling mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria tuberculosis can be prevented by the vaccination but is one of the important vaccination that is known as bcg that is known as bacille calmite gure it's a live attenuated vaccine Uh, prepared from the strain of mycobacterium bovis uh, mainly applied of the root of intradermal root or uh, it is always applied on our deltoid region age as soon as possible after birth it's applied as soon as possible after birth scheduled as single doses and its long lasting immunity up to 10 to 12 years then other benefits they protect individual from complicated forms of tuberculosis and offer some protection against leprosy and leukemia what are the adverse effects of bcg is forming local and creating abscess uh, abscess ulcer and keloid what is known as keloid an area of irregular fibrous tissue formed at the site of scar or injury then regional forming lymph adenitis lymph adenitis is the condition of inflammation of the lymph nodes then systemic case forming fever otitis media erythema erythema means red color of the skin and nodosum nodosum means painful disorder characterized by formation of nodules or tender bumps on the skin then contraindication of bcg contraindication means a specific situation in which a drug or procedure or surgery should not be used because it may harmful to the person that is known as contraindication what are the contraindication condition of bcg patients of aids measles and tuberculosis and thank you for watching this channel or watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe